Hey Stampers, Gator again, and we're back with uh, page two. We've already done our page one. I've not glued it in yet because I don't know whereabouts I'm going to put it. But isn't that gorgeous? It's going to absolutely be beautiful. This gorgeous tuck spot area. You can still get pictures down there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. I We did add... I don't know what that is. Where's my, where's my rubber gone? Hiding, there it is. I don't know what that is. Might be glue a bit, maybe. Again, as only just noticed. Oh well, it'll come off later. But that is holding these pages down. Oh, photo mats. I don't know whether to use very vanilla or white. I will come to that one. So let's move on anyway. Start doing this. So I'm going to grab my page in the book because I want to measure my paper for this side. I know you're probably thinking whether well, they're all the same size, then just do it all the same. But I just want to make sure. Do you know what I mean? I want to. I want to be one of these that doesn't have to. I'm gonna leave about one eighth of an inch all round. So there and there. Perfect. Ha ha ha! And this is going to a very special friend anyway, so. I want to make sure it's perfect for her. So I've kept all these little bits because you never know where we might be able to put them. So let's cut off this page first. Pretty cool. Fingers crossed it goes all the way in. Making sure that's right up close level. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I've got no black pieces left. So I'm going to start with a full sheet. So this now is a full packet. So I'll tell you how many I use. Well, you'll see how many I use. So let's do this. With a nice little border all around again. Take that down to there. And across. Oh, I'm only going to come, I think. Let's say about a half an inch off the bottom. Because we'll give it another nice lace detail. So give me two seconds. Oh. These are spare. Uh, this is the piece you just cut, and I want to score this at half an inch. Making sure it's right up close. Because just being a fraction off like that can really knock your work out. So let's just fold this over. And this is going to be a top flap here. So that's a good distance. I'm going to do a decorative, uh, I'm going to do that lace detail again. I love this one. So I know I'm going to do it from behind the first one. I always get, I always miss that last, that first little bit. So just nick that off. And line 
this off perfectly. No boo boos this time. We're at the end. Just one little tiny bit there. Let me get my snips of that. There we go. That is beautiful. There we go. Get those little bits out of the way. in there they go so now that can be attached on there oh look at this I've left my glue open all night long oh I can't believe that let's see if it works or if I've got to poke it through oh look at that so I'm going to attach it here because it doesn't matter and then I'll spin it round Make sure there's a good little lip all the way around. See that? If you don't go it straight. That's better. Nice little gap either side. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. So, I've got a nice big flap down there. And then we're going to do some side. I'm going to do a pocket first, I think. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm just going to do the first score line. Half an inch. Just pop that to one side for a sec. Because I've done albums now for about a year, I think I've been doing well, on and off, about two years, but, you know, not very often. So I want that r about a good distance again, about that much, maybe. And then I'm going to mark that at there. So let's pop our mark in. I'm just going to keep it on that line so we can score it. Oops. And then we can just chop off the excess. I can glue the bottom then. So that's got to go on there. Give me a half an inch there. Perfect. Oops. Perfect. And they can get glued down on there and a thin line at the bottom. Right, I've got die cuts now. I want to make some nice borders as well. Let's see what we've got. through twice. Hmm. 
not maybe on this one but maybe on the next one let's pop that back down there long board is I really need Mr. Christmas more tags Award. right I think let's try one of these <clears throat> wide enough is it? Oh a shame. How wide is that one? Not quite wide enough. Why don't we do a border and then attach? Hmm. my piece of paper is that the same width it sure is oh so I could either die cut that piece out and attach it on or I could just take that So that is half there and half there. Just get it so you go level like that. And then you've got that beautiful plie to com complement that border die. Oh, give me two seconds. turned it round the other way it's chopped it right off so what I'm going to do that with that now just push out my pieces I know why because it's doubled over there I should have turned it that way. Never mind. We can rectify that. Same on this side, just slice that off. We can just reattach it back on now. <laughs> just to me, just to me. Down there on the floor, out the way. Let's get this. Oh, love hearts. Where have they come from? I'll empty that after. So that can be attached just under there. Off at the back is what it is. There we go, it's gone. So if I pop glue right along that edge and 
tap that back on. Ooh, lovely. So. Let's get it off this paper. Don't want to glue it down and then get some stuck on there. So we'll just right along that edge. Oh, that is beautiful. And then that will be glued right on top of there. Oh, it's going to look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Just going to make sure that I've trimmed that straight. And I haven't. That's better. That's a lot better. Perfect. Now we can glue just a little bit at the bottom and down those sides. I think that worked out beautiful actually. And we've still got that height. away from that side that is beautiful oh, and just see a little bit of pokey there there we go that is so sweet and again beautiful little pocket I won't put anything right down close in there at the minute and wait for that to bone dry because otherwise um, the photomat will stick as well oh it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so the perfect width but it's not quite long enough for what I want so let me get another slice out yep so I'm gonna measure that I'm, I'm gonna keep it away from this line I'll cut my hand yes don't worry about it. it's okay um, so if I'm going to take this, because I've got to think of the half inch as well. So let's lift that up half an inch. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just pop it there. And I want it to just... Oh no, oh, yeah, just about an eighth of an inch above it. And we have got to come the width is going to be the same. Dropping down about an, an eighth of an inch or a couple of millimetres. Same width. Love it. Mm. 
now we know we've got the width. That's the one a piece I want. Mm -hmm. We know we've got the width, so we can do some more flaps if needs be. Let's score this at half an inch. Folder keeps going for a little wand on its own. <laughs> so we've got this flap. Maybe we should add this flap this way. So this flops down. And then we could have two. Yeah, I think we will. So let me just pop a piece of DSP. And keep the distance, see? I put that in that way. I can see where that score line is and that score line. I'm going to add that there so that's perfect. Just a couple of millimetres away. Same on there. And then we can pop that down. Perfect. So our page is like this. We can have folder mats there. Uh, this will then open up here. Again, okay, more photo space. We can have. I'm going to have. I'm going to do a side pocket there actually. That's not quite wide enough. But we know it's the width. So let me measure that gap. Again, keeping a, about one, a couple of millimetres away from there and from there. So if I do that four and a half, I'll do it five and a half actually. So that's the width, perfect. So we need this five and a half. And then we're going to score down the long sides. Half an inch. Half an inch. That will save on DSP because that now is four and a half. Nice little border all the way around with the cut apart or we can have Was what now that um, which way round in the book is this? Uh, so this is the second page, so we don't want it over that side, we want the opening on this side. So we've got a few millimeters either side, that's not going to take anything off what we don't need. I push that up, that is all level. In fact, I'm just going to skim that a tiny, tiny little bit just like an angel hair and I mean like an angel hair make sure that is totally flat all the way to the bottom too much so that was an angel hair so was that one look how tiny They're going to fit inside there and there beautifully, right up on the edge. A bit gorgeous. I'm going to do one of those little office uh, with the. With the blah, this again. <laughs> so, this measures 
two and a half, four and a half. Yeah, so we need to put this in at two and a quarter. And punch. Get that out again in a minute for our design series paper. Before I do that though, watch, I'm going to add a little bit of tape and some more washi. This will make sure that washi does never come off. So I'm just going about one eight, one of eighth, if no, I'm one sixteenth away from the score line. And the same at the top. to be perfect for my friend. Beautiful. And a gorgeous gold washi. I may have to move on to this beautiful one as well, but not right yet this minute. And I've still got to use this up. Perfect. I know washy can peel, say, after time. It's not the best sticky stuff in the world. Right up to that score line. Perfect. anywhere. Let me just turn this around so I can reach. Again. I'm going to do it a little bit longer so I can trim it off. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So when this goes down, Still got that little tiny bit of gold going on and oh, love it. So, I've got a piece of DSP here that I'm just going to do to attach there just so when we see that we don't have to look inside. All your scraps will come in handy, trust me. Doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be perfect to be lined up there and there, but this piece does not have to go all the way to the edge because our little slice now that gets and I want half of that showing that side and half showing that side. And there's our little piece of DSP so we cannot you know so it hides the inside. So again, just scoot down the back. Turn it this way, just so I can keep them distances the same, roughly. Oh, I want that over a little touch. 
Oh, why is it sticking? Playing silly burgers. That's better. Now it looks even. Oh. Yes, just may have to put up a tad more glue just under this corner. That is beautiful. Just a tiny little bit over there, but I'm not fussed about that because it's so close right on this end. Oh, I love it. Let it, and we have glued the bottom down. So this will hold a uh, six by, oh, what is the width actually? So that is seven and a half, just less. Or just over, should I say? No, just, yeah, just over. Just over. Oh, battery's gonna go again. Oh, I do apologise about that. My battery just died a living death. <laughs> I did have a spare one, so. Right, we've got our pocket attached now. This is the flap that's going to hide that pocket. This is going to come down and keep that all closed. And look how nice and flat it's staying. Because we're not adding too much bulk, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I have I fetched over some ivory cardstock. I'm going to match it with this card I think and use that as photo mats. Hmm, what do you reckon? Maybe add one on here as the pull down and add DSP over the top. So let me just mark that. In fact I'm going to do this six by, let me just cut it at six first. That's uh, five and seven eighths on the other one, five and a three quarters. So that is the six. Yeah, I am. And I'm going to have a strip of DSP down there. I'll just cut that off there. Oh, that's not very straight, is it? I'm, uh, there's something wrong with me and measurements. I just can't get it right. Right, start again. Flat, six inches. Flat. So, I'm going to make sure that I mark this end and this end because for some reason, again, I can't get it right. nice and flat. So let's see if that is better. Ten times. It's me and small borders that just don't mix. That's perfect. I would sooner just, it's only, it's only white, it, 
if any of their cards stuck, so it's not like I've chopped and hacked into my album. So, hence doing other pages like this. If any of them get ruined, or I don't like the end result, I can see it's just a piece of paper with a bit of card on. It's not in the album, so I can pick and choose and change my mind, you know. Down. Do you get my meaning? So, did I have a piece of DSP on here? I sure did. And I'm just going to add that on there. Maybe give it a little border. basically add in pieces of paper to pieces of paper so it's nothing scary about making an album whatsoever and I think that's perfect of pink again you forgot to sponge it again <laughs> I've got to get my distress ink out I keep forgetting to distress my edges I can't do it now but I will on the next piece so that's the inner flap let's push this down give that a good burnish and then we need a section just to go inside that pocket. That is going to be fabulous. I need to take a little fraction off there. So I kept that just inside. I'm going to take about two and a half inches off that bottom piece. Turn it around so I've got the pattern. And how wants to come down all the time. I'm going to have an accident. If I take that to, I think two, let's do two and a half. That's perfect. And take that little section off. So keeping that nice and flat. That should be wide enough to fit inside there now. And that can get glued virtually all the way up to the top because it's not interrupting. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous piece of cardstock. Oh, mind you, look at the lace. Oh. Now I'm going to turn it over because I do want the cream because I want to continue with the the van vanilla cardstock. You're making sure you've got plenty down the edge. Slide that in, keep sliding. Come on, don't stick yet. Oh my goodness. Remind me next time I put a pocket in to glue down a bit of the DSP that I want showing first. And 
then you can have a little tuck spot area just for there. So let's see what we've got left. It's a little bit too long. So if we did that to there. This wide because we need it to fit inside. Oops, maybe not. Maybe this wide. And then just take, I'll take a fraction off in a second. Nice and straight. <clears throat> and then take about, yeah, let's make that three and seven eighths. and five eighths. Another nice little photo mark there with some DSP. Just thought after four years then I had a cut piece now I have to cut this paper straight. Ha. So I'm going to add this on this end. Let's grab some more paper. Let's see what we've got over here. Could add that down there. I'm loving it. I'm even doing little photo marks as well. Keeping it straight. a little bit dark this one but my friend Audrey has got to have beautiful places to put her photos Oh look I smudged because it's on my fingers. Look, oh no, silly sausage. Let me get let's see if this one remove that. First time I pick up my thingy and then I mark it. So let's get this. There we go, that's better. And then that's our. I'm going to leave the back plane. She can still add photos on the back. That's going to slide in there now. Perfect. Oh, I love it. Right, let's see if this piece is going to look nice on there. Oh, it sure is. Right, let's get, let me just grab some more washi. I'm sure I've got some more gold here somewhere. 
somewhere. Maybe not. as well. Oh, well, my gold washi is limited to what's on my desk, so let's do a bit more attaching. It's only to keep the washi tape in place because we know a washi is not the best at adhering down and wanting to stay down. So with this permanent double sided tape it will do just that. I'm going to have to make sure I buy some more. Perfect. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So now we can measure this piece. It's my eyesight, it's terrible. Maybe you should get your glasses on then, Gina. <laughs> right. I'll take that off there. This is just the cover as well, so... I love that. And I've got this beautiful flower. And now, to me, you can have it that way because the butterfly looks like it's walk flying off that way. Or you could even have it that way because it still looks as beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just wish I had more of that washi tape. Now look at that. If I 
glued that right along the top, giving me that lovely border. Why does that look out? It's just me. Okay, stop it. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Oh my goodness, pocket there, pull down flat with a photo mat. And I think we're going to have a photo mat on that side as well. That's perfect. Just going to take a tiny sliver off that. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to make sure it stays uber flat. And straight. Let's just chest that. That is perfectly straight. And I'm going to make sure that's squared off so that's nice and straight. And that's going to get glued on that beautifully for more photo space. around these I suppose. Oh it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And it's still not too massively bulky. It's just gorgeous now on strip paper for there. Let's match that up if we can. Oh. Perfect. I'm gonna have a nice border all around. I'm gonna nick that off there. I can't even sponge this one because I forgot to sponge that one. And I'm going to envelope punch board that one as well. So we knew it was two and a quarter. So I'm just going to go in between and hope for the best. <laughs> Not quite wide enough, is it? Do we have a big border there and a small there, or you know? I think it looks quite cute. So it's handmade. It's not supposed to be perfection. Did we make anything to go in there yet? No. That's a bit too 
slim. So let's pick these bits up. That I keep in. Obviously, you can't. There's no point, point keeping that little piece. There's no point keeping that piece of black. So. I do have a drawer full, well not full, with some black strips in that I had from the last album. I'm pack it down there, see if there's anything wide enough. Look at this, it's even got the, the score marks on ready and the tape, so we can use them somewhere. I don't think any of those are going to be wide enough. And again, that's been scored. Not big enough. Definitely, no, they're not going to be big enough. But we might be able to use little bits of them. The longer pieces, I think. They're already scored up for something. That's a weird shape. So that one. Let's pop them down there in my scraps bin. And oh, we'll use them somewhere. Let's just measure. I want to measure again. That is absolutely beautiful. Do you know what that is? There we go. So, it's, I'm going to make this four by... Four by seven. I cut this down to four. Keeping that nice and straight along the edge. And I have this at seven. Perfect. That will fit in there beautifully. And I may add some uh, ribbon on there to pull that out. Ooh. Let's see what we've got in a little tiny ribbon. Oh, I know what I'm going to use. These beautiful love hearts. So I'm going to decorate the front so I'm going to attach my ribbon at the back. So if I use about this much, look at those beautiful chevrons on the back, but we want it like that so the person knows to pull them out. So more double sided tape, get some slightly wider. Do we? So let's crush that down. I will have to add some paper on the back just so that can't be seen. I may have it 
too long actually so let's cut that down a little bit more because we just want a little pull so I'm going to grab some cardstock See if I've got any small pieces. No. No. So I'm going to trim up. So that was four by seven. So I'll this. Three and seven eighths. by about there we'll give this one full piece and then let's have another one for the front three and seven eighths by so we can add decoration. So this piece is for the back. That's just going to layer out there beautifully to hide our ribbon. Actually, got plenty of glue, and she don't want none of this coming off. Perfect. They've got loads of space for photos. What's that? We can add that piece this time to there. Oh no, I'm going to do it down the bottom. That way when they pull, they can see that gorgeous decoration coming out. And they probably, if they trim down just a little wee bit, they just get short of a 6x4 photo on this mat. Maybe two on the back. Two, maybe three and a half by three and a half photos. And I put a line of DSP down the centre. Beautiful. Beautiful lace design. Perfect. Perfect. That's so pretty. Again, it's got inky fingers. Nail. Cool, do not stain your fingers. Right, look at that, the beautiful, oh, 
love hearts. No, the other way around, you deserve it right. There's beautiful love hearts on that gorgeous tag. Let's pop that on the inside. That is so cute. Beautiful, love it, love it, love it. That there now will fold up. This will fold down. Our gorgeous papers. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> I want something. I want that stay up there in the shed because we've taken it away from the score line. I want something absolutely outstanding. So let's have a look what papers we've got. Goodness. How beautiful is this? Once in a while, right in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us fairy tales. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's going to fit on there absolutely gorgeously. So I want to turn this around just so I can measure. right along this edge I think it is we've got to check for this border so I'll tell you what I'm going to do that's the top bit so if I cut that over there And that comes over there. Ooh, give me a sec, girls. I've lost my mark. Oh no, there it is. going to fit down there perfect and may even just oh no 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 nothing that is just going to be so outstanding she can add a photo here of her and bill six by four there let's measure that oh look at that perfectly four inches wide and she'd get an outstandingly beautiful six inch with a bit spaced on the bottom there to write to uh, to write on. Absolutely beautiful. So let's uh, distress our paper and get that attached. Gorgeous. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's going to take a lot of glue. I'm 
was just uh, stand for a second, only for a second, whilst I attach this. Right. That's better. That is outstanding. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So oh, now we've just to decorate the inside. Where's those things? Half inch either side, do you reckon? I've got a pocket. Which he's already got his tape on. Let's let's do it. This has got a lot going on. Sure it's slightly smaller anyway because and I'm going to leave about an half an inch at the bottom so what I'm going to do is oh I don't know what I'm going to do add it to the bottom corner and have it no have it in the middle up a touch But first, I'm going to add some washi tape. Not the gold, which I would love to, because I don't think there would be enough that we could try. And double-sided tape. Keep it on. Just over there level with those dots. Level with those dots. It's a great way to add the washi tape. If you've got little joints down the side like that, you can't piece that up. So to disguise it with a bit of washi, I'm going to try this one. And it's a little bit wider as well. One black. Level with the dot. Perfect. better. Oh, I 
adds to the, the feel of it, doesn't it? And then if you add these sides now on this pocket to the edge of the washi, you haven't got to fill in down the sides now with uh, designer series paper. We can just add our piece into there. Perfect. So let's strip this off. Tack those sides down whilst we glue. Wiggle space, see? And don't always, if it gets so warm in here that the tape can sometimes lift. So let's uh, wrap the edge of the washi. How's that fabulous? I've been ready made uh, either flaps or pockets. And we just made a pocket. Let's see what our other piece of gorgeous paper. That is beautiful. But not wide enough. wide enough is it but it might be wide enough for the pocket itself and uh, add a photo mat there clever girl perfect gorgeous in it on the back Beautiful flowers. Outstanding. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's just test. Ah, mmm. It's not too bad. Maybe I should have done an eighth of an inch. Uh, score line first and then move that up a slight touch it will fold into place don't worry because we've got it such a long length right now for my very vanilla not wide enough so let's check the width by four and five eighths. Not 
straight. Let's just get this end straight first. That's better. Better. Perfect. I can tuck that under just a fraction. And then lift that up to the tape. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Place for more photos, too. Beautiful. Just turn this around for a second. So. Oh, right. Oh, thread that in there and there. Just got more ah. That's better. That's got it. I'm a little smudge there. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then some of those beautiful, oh, I love it. Love it, and it's not too bulky. That's what I love. So, um, oh my goodness. Beautiful. Um, photo mat for there. So that's the piece we took off. I'm going to cut this down to seven, maybe just short on. It's lovely. So this measures about nine. So if I do that seven by seven. going to work out just right. Give another little photo mat in there. That looks gorgeous. And that's going to get folded up. So I'm just going to burnish this. I will uh, decorate that photo mat at a later stage, but that is absolutely gorgeous. So, pocket, we've got this beautiful pocket here as well with this gorgeous decoration with a photo mat tucked inside. Got a gorgeous place to add a photo there, down here and down here. Photo mat that you could get easily. You could get two three by or maybe even just add the yeah, white white cards let's add white card stock to it all and then just some strips of designer service paper 
myself. I'm just going to take that much off there, and then this was seven, so we'd take that much off there. I'm only going to do it on the front. What's happened there? Just to neaten that edge up. I'm <laughs> going to Lally. I'm going to Lally, I'm sure I am. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh my goodness. Right, take that off. That was straight. Take that off, that was straight. Have we got left here? straight to me. Perfect. I am just going to get my knife. Let me just make sure it looks, yeah, that looks perfectly straight to me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that can go in there. You can either go that way or it can go this way. Lots and lots of space for photos. She says. Perfect. There we go. Page two over and done with. So, come back tomorrow and we'll get on with pages three and fingers crossed four as well. But don't forget we are doing all the mechanisms and we're doing all the decorating at the same time. So you haven't got to come back at the end and go, oh, now we've got to watch her decorate. <laughs> it's all being done together. So I'm going to pop that inside my album. I'm going to say goodnight. Love you all. Please don't forget to press share, subscribe, the bell and uh, 
the thumbs up all at the same time if you are, you're not a member of my group if you're not subscribe to my channel even let me get that right oh my god i run a facebook group here as well and we have nearly 1300 members over there so and it's the best group on facebook they reckon well the ladies that are joined all say that to me so that is uh, a huge compliment don't forget to get that out tomorrow again eh? so thank you for watching come back let's see what else we can get designed on this beautiful album for my gorgeous friend take care now love you all bye